welcome guys a quick update so in the recent version of selenium which got uh, released uh, just a few days ago so with that version now having system dot set property step is optional okay you can have it or you can also ignore it so you know what this step does right so basically this is an intermediate step which will help us to invoke the actual chrome browser so by default we don't have a permission to invoke chrome browser and we are first invoking chrome driver third party plugin which is eventually responsible to open our actual browser isn't it so this is the step we are writing in our code but what selenium guys came up is this code they were inbuilt handling in their jars itself in form of a new package called selenium manager so they have recently introduced a new package in their jars okay called selenium manager so what does this do is if you ask to run in chrome driver okay we, you need not give now so basically it will detect that this guy want to execute in chrome browser so automatically it will go to the uh, internet and find out this particular chrome driver which have the compatible version with your local browser and it downloads and it set up nicely so that all the work now will be done in the back end so you can ignore that step and directly start with this uh, chrome driver okay so this eliminates the headache of downloading the compatible chrome driver version and running your test you can directly start it here so previously our test used it to fail if you don't have that step but now it will work perfectly without any issues let's see you can see that the chrome browser invoked even without having that step and you see you are landing on the rahul shetty academy page with elimination of that line okay so that's how it work but do remember that having this line does not harm you this is an optional but you can still have it so when you write this step explicitly what happens is a uh, selenium manager will be uh, turned off okay so the moment selenium script detects this line explicitly in your code it offs this selenium manager feature and depends upon the chrome driver path what you have provided but if you don't provide this path then selenium manager feature will get on and the work of getting chrome driver from internet and setting up all that work it does in the back end so directly you can start with this okay so having this will not hurt this is an optional where if you provide this that feature will disabled by default in the back end but i recommend to have this step still going on in your test because the change what they recently introduced with the selenium manager this still in beta phase that means it's they are still testing it it did not become stable for some users they are still complaining that still seeing the error we can't complain on it because selenium officially told that this is in beta phase this did not yet become stable okay maybe down the line future after 6 months it might become stable and then we can avoid this writing this line but as of now you still keep this line and even our course also in every test i would still put this let's continue in the same way uh, we'll see in the future once it becomes stable and i definitely think it will take some time it's not that easy so i created this lecture just for your info so you know that this is optional if any of your colleagues are somewhere if you have seen that this is an optional then you might think that hey why didn't i learn from my trainer okay so for that heads up purpose i have given but as i said we are still going to continue with the same until this becomes uh, stable and they officially announce it okay just a heads up